Good morning. It's four in the morning, and we decided in this vlog because, as you can see by the title, we're going to Monza. It's Thursday, uh, July sixth, and tomorrow we have the first day of um. The six hours of months as free practices, so come with me. I also want to show you my nails for Primus Car 63 with Luigi, and then the nine with Mario. I love them. I'm actually worse at vlogging, especially when I'm around people. Um, but I'm at the Airbnb. I actually, um, they actually, it took like an hour and a half for the airport to give us our, um, see if I can close this, um, for, uh, for that to give us. Um, our luggages, so that's nice. Um, and uh, I'm so tired. And then I saw two guys, which I'm not sure if they were, um, if they worked for Corbett because they were had like they had like their t shirts and all that, and they were wearing this, and uh, they were wearing the same thing. So, um, I don't know, they actually look like workers and not fans but yeah um let me do a quick tour of the place okay so this is the door you know we've got my stuff um this is the kitchen slash living room i guess um yeah small like it's like kind of like old but at the same time it's like you see it's new like like doors are old but like everything like everything's new then we have the room which is really nice and then we have the bathroom slash toilet we also have like to do our laundry so that's nice and yeah, that's that's everything that's literally everything also, since I probably already, um, when I upload this blog, I probably already posted about it. Um, I actually got a new tattoo to symbolize my love for Prema. And, well, it's not, the thing is, it started as the idea of I want to get something done for um, the 24 hour of the man. That's, that's something, let me, uh, um, that, that was something big for me. Um, and I was like, what can I do? Like, look exactly. It was like, what if I do like the silhouette of a car? I was like, oh my god, premise, silhouette, um, in red with the date. And this, this is what we got. So this is the tattoo. So you see, it's like the silhouette of the car and then it's like June 10, 11. And it's mostly like it doesn't have like nothing. It's like, I don't know. I actually like how simple it is, yet how for me it symbolizes like such a big thing. Um, and yeah, now I'm going to go to the store, buy some food. I'm gonna try to see if at that store they sell flowers because I wanna buy some flowers for Bianca tomorrow to give, um, give it to her tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. Like, I'm in freaking Italy and I'm going to Monza tomorrow. Like, what the F? Like, how? Like, two weeks and a half ago, I was in Paris. Like, three weeks ago, no, a month ago. 
I was witnessing the 24 hour of Le Mans. And now I'm, in, now I'm gonna be Montserrat, like. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go buy some food. Uh, I'm gonna make some quick, probably just snack something. And then I'll probably just relax, unpack. Um, and yeah, just chill for the day, have a shower because I have to wake up extra early tomorrow to be by nine at the truck. Or I think they open like, tomorrow is like nine or 10, the first thing they have. Either way, um, I wanna be there really early. So it's 5.30 or something like that. Um, I woke up from an hour, an hour ago and um, that sofa is so comfortable like um it looks so uncomfortable but it's so so comfortable <laughs> slept like a baby and suddenly like my alarm went off i was like oh no so now i'm going to uh to uh i was gonna go to a little it was like 20 minutes away but I don't feel like walking that much because I know I'm gonna carry a lot of shit. Um, I'm gonna go to a car for, um, and then when I get to the Airbnb again, I'll probably just have a shower, kill some time, watch some Netflix, and then just go and um, make some dinner and go have an early night. I don't even know if I'm going to sleep in this bed and uh, might as well just sleep in the sofa <laughs> since it's that comfortable and Wi-Fi apparently only arrives, only is there, so anyway, let's go with Sunny um, it just says the weather might drastically change, so might go while the sun is out so let me show you what I bought and it's funny because I've been trying to find this in Spain I tried finding it um, when it was in Le Mans, in Barcelona, uh, Paris and I couldn't find it I had to come all the way to Milan to find Louis Hamilton's monsters, monster um, hopefully it's good um, I'm not a big um, energy drink fan but let me do a little haul. Like I probably just have to pop in here, here and there, um, on the um, to the store. But this was already so heavy. Okay, so we have. Um, I was gonna say sugar. Um, got sugar and coffee for my breakfast. We've got one of these. We probably is one I will have for dinner. Um, some pasta. Conchietti. I've never in my life seen this in Spain. There were so many Kinder stuff I'd never seen before. And then here, which is a fridge, we have sun. 100% Italian, uh, well, whatever, focaccia. Um, this because it's really good. Um, some fries that we'll probably do at, uh, later. Coca Cola because there's no trip without this. What is this? I have no idea, um, but it looked good, so I don't know. Another Kinder thing, I have no idea what it is, so some ketchup for the fries. Puff tomato sauce, milk for the coffee, and some um, juice. So now what I'm going to do is quickly have a shower um, and then just like start making dinner and putting everything away because uh, yeah and also have to prepare uh, Yanka's um, bag properly I have to uh, I have to write her a little letter like it got here so over here we have her t-shirt this is uh, basically to decorate um, we also have some chocolates and then I bought her a magnet uh, from where I'm from. I wanted to buy her some sweet, but I didn't know. And this is the state of my uh, my luggage and my little bag, so yeah. For some reason, I really want to do like a, 
I want to try it on camera, so let's see if I can. Oh, great. No, but I couldn't before because my nails were so long. And as always, I have to smell it. Oh, it smells good. Oh, wow. It's so good. Oh my God. I wasn't expecting that at all. Good. Good morning. It's currently 5.43 in the morning and it's so bright outside. It's just insane. Um, but yeah, I'm having breakfast. I'm having a coffee. I'm watching a show. Um, and I'm meeting this. But seriously, my stomach cannot take it. I, I normally cannot take unless I wake up hungry. I cannot take anything solid because it makes me feel really sick. Also, I slept like shit because I had to uh, sleep with my um, with the windows open because for some reason I kept smelling gas and. When I go check, uh, because I'm I'm leaving it on, I'm sleeping in the sofa because it's really comfortable. Um, the thing is, like nothing has smelled like us. I would sleep in one position, nothing. I would sleep in the other, nothing. And when I would sleep in the third one, which would be um, looking at this, suddenly, like the smell of gas would come. It's like I would get paranoid. Be like, what if I die in my sleep? <laughs> like no, I have to go to Monza. Um, or yeah, for some reason, I really thought today they were starting at nine and tomorrow at ten. But no, tomorrow today is ten, so I could have woken up at six in the morning instead of five. But well, once I'm awake, I don't care really. Um, and also like everyone, like this place is so old, like the minimum noise that someone makes uh, when walking up the stairs it's just insane like like people have no regards of others like but that's here and everywhere so I was like I get to go and out partying and all that but seriously I am sleeping there is other people sleeping shut the fuck up like, I don't care but yeah, I've got like everything ready. Um, I've got my little bag for Bianca. Hopefully, since I'm going to be early, um, hopefully I can arrive around uh, pretty early. <laughs> and they let me in uh, so I can go to the Prema F1 Academy um, place and see if I can see Bianca. So I can get her, uh, give her the bag and all that, and if hopefully I can have someone recreate the whole thing um, because I want to put it in the blog and I have I want to have it for me, like with me and all that. So yeah. Get as many good photos as I can. Thank you. 
<laughs> let's see, let's see if you like that one. I'm really like What I'm, is it? Uh, <laughs> you might know what it is because you comment on I comment on one of your um posts on Instagram, you were like, oh my god, you did this? I was like, yeah! Oh it's the team! Yes! <laughs> I don't know if we, I don't know if it will fit you, but so um, for the one academy and two. currently 6.05 in the morning it's so bright already it's really warm um yeah oops um so this is my outfit I'm sure it's um this was supposed to be white um but yeah so I've got a blister where I used to have my free blisters in friends so it's quite painful to walk um and now we're on on our way to the train station and um in three hours we have everyone academy um everyone academy qualifying and obviously i'm not gonna miss anything on track and today the last thing is race two i think uh, race 2 of F1 Academy and it finishes at wait what at 7 okay yeah at 7 p.m. so oh, today is gonna be a long long day and I'm already really tired of waking up at 5 in the morning because I got home late between the shower uh, having dinner um, and then passing all the cam all the photos from the camera to the uh, to the laptop. Then for some reason they didn't delete it. They didn't delete um, it from my um, from the camera, so I have to uh, delete them myself. So yeah, not fun. So by the time I went to sleep, it was midnight. Um, I wanted to go by 10, 11. So but anyway, let's go.
So there was a huge price in the first turn, first race of the WC, uh, uh, Formula One Academy uh, race. Um, the car spun. Thankfully, the halo like allowed it to stay like this. Um, Cross was bad. There was fire. Marshals, marshals didn't see it, so we had to shout for them. Um, race is going on. But um, driver was taken out by the marshals. Um, I didn't see her moving, so hopefully she's good. Uh, the, she was an ART driver, car number nine, and um, then she was taking an ambulance. So hopefully she's good. Um, minor injuries. Um, but that was a scary. Also, um, I didn't actually know what was happening because I have my phone recording the start and with my uh, that with my left hand with my right one uh, I was with my uh, camera with my camera um, taking photos and suddenly I, I heard like boom I was like look around the car is like flip like halfway through like what the fuck and then I see people calling an ambulance like the second she's taken out so and now we're going to see uh, WEC because they're doing no to grab sign in after this race is done. Okay, so that was literally an exhausting day. I've been on the track for 12 hours straight. I arrived there at 7.30. I left 7.30 a little bit later. Um, like, yeah, I was not only exhausted because of how long I've been there, but also by because, like, emotionally it drained me. Like, that uh, F1 Academy race one, that was so scary like insane so i feel this vlog is all over the place because i don't really do updates uh since i normally get late um it's currently 10 15 just finished dinner um trying to pass my um uh camera photos to the laptop and um uh, yeah i'm just chilling for a little bit before going to sleep hopefully by 11 um and yeah so the crash in f1 academy was terrifying for me um but i'm so so happy no one was seriously injured obviously chloe got injured um but thankfully thankfully it's not too serious um, and she was released from hospital at the same day. So, and today she was um, she was in the grid, supporting um, her other two ART uh, teammates. So that was really nice. Um, I really also I'm thankful that um, I got to talk to Bianca uh, because I was like I have a photo um, of the tire of Chloe, like rear right one, I think it is, like passing through the halo. And I was like, oh, shoot. So yeah, that was pretty scary. And then uh, obviously for obvious reasons, I haven't uploaded the part of the crash. Um, even though everyone is all right, I don't feel it's necessary or it should be online. Um, so yeah, um, 
but when I went to Bianca, it seriously like I saw her coming to their uh, towards the garage, and I was like already getting emotional. And when I saw her, I was like, "Are you okay?" She was like, "She was like, oh my god," because already like crashes affect me a lot. So um, that was horrible. Like uh, the car flipped, um, fire, the driver being taken out by marshals driver not moving ambulance had everything um so yeah um she was really nice i was like can i give you a hug she, she literally like hugged me like a couple times because i was like a mess like literally i was a mess um and then i got to talk to an art um, mechanic i think it was like team member and i was like Hi, like, I don't know if you can tell me or if you know, I was like, do you know? I was like, how is Chloe? Is she right? I was like, oh yeah, like, she's in hospital. She was taken to hospital, but like, to check up. I was like, oh my God, I was so, so happy to hear that. Oh my God. And the rest, like my, my whole body was sh shaking down. Like, I couldn't focus on qualifying for the WEC. I couldn't, I couldn't really focus on anything. And then F1 Academy race to happen and oh my God, I was cheering for Bianca so, so much. P9 to P2 and she could have won like this little. Um, and then I sprinted <laughs> with another girl. Um, I sprinted towards the paddock from um, the main run stand so I could have my photo with her. Um, and she was so, so nice. So I'm really happy. But yeah, uh, tomorrow is the last day. And how has this weekend been over? Like, how is this weekend over already? Like, it's already been two out of three days. It's like, how, how do days pass so fast? So it's day three of Monza, which means it's race day, it's race day, which means it's the last day I'm going to be going to Monza, which makes me really sad, really. i been enjoying um, the circuit a lot, even though, like, when I'm there, I'm like, I'm just watching a race, and then it hits me like, girl, you are freaking Monza, like, why are you so chill? <laughs> Oh yeah, my whole body hurts. I had to take a painkiller. I feel really sick. Um, so we are on our way to the train station. And uh, now we are going to go... Um, oh, I don't know. Like, person just passed me. It was like, so weird. Um, I don't like blogging when there's people around for obvious reasons and yeah I do my, my gestures with my hands a lot and it's not because I'm in Italy it's because it's me um, but yeah I had to take a painkiller because my whole body hurts my knee like my left knee is like in crumbles like she was like tapping out already after the little sprint like little yeah because I mean for me it was a lot I'm not used to um running but um yeah after the sprint from yesterday oof. anyways um but now from tomorrow onwards we have two full weeks in milano um that makes me excited two concerts so yeah let's see let's see because i think today bianca starts from Paul or second I think so I really really hope she can get to win like that would make me so so happy and I would run for my life to get another photo with her seriously she has won my heart I loved her before and I love her even more after yesterday
while I pass my photos, um, this is gonna be my last update on the race weekend, and tomorrow I will start with the Milano. Um, the with the Milano blog. Um, first of all, my portable chargers cable just broke, so good. And I only have like thirty-seven percent, so that's good. I need to find a store, and I need to find that cable because I cannot really function without battery, and my phone's battery dies really fast. Second of all, what can I say about today? The only thing I do not like about racing and tracks when I go to a circuit is that I have no idea what's going on because um, you normally cannot see properly like um, the information on the screen. You can see what's going on, but you can't, like in my case, even with glasses, I couldn't see like the classification. So I didn't know where Prima was, where Corvette was, where anyone was. So, and then the website, the FIA uh, WAC website for the live timing, timing did not work. So, um, I'm actually glad that Prima got to finish the race, both cars. Um, not the result um, I would have liked, obviously, because when you love a team, you want them to be in the podium and win every single day. Um, or every single race um, but in this case luck was not on our side and I think one of the cars got a 30 second penalty and the other one had like a one minute or something so that was bad um, then what else I'm really happy that um, I got to witness a Ferrari podium in Monza with all the Tifosis um, that was insane, like seriously, running through the track. And what I love the most is like when they open, like people would not push like they did when I went to Formula One last year, for example. So that was really nice. Um, it was a little bit like, obviously people were like little t tiny bit by tiny bit uh, pushing because they wanted to run to the track and all that. Um, I was like running all the way from like the end of the pad of like all the like all the garage like all that long because I was in front of Prema and Prema was at the very beginning of the paddock like if you would look through the um would be like Mon uh, um, I mean Prema paddock here I mean Prema garage and the podium here so it was like completely opposite sides um but anyways um I run for my life <laughs> even with a uh, blister in a really painful knee. Um, but what can I say? And then Corvette. That was really confusing because I've heard that Corvette needed a uh, minimum the podium uh, to win the championship in here in Monza. They finished fourth, but they were announcing them as champions. So I was like, oh my God, maybe they were going the podium. So I went, that's why I went running because I had like my little flag with, um, with me, my Nico flag. So I was like, oh my God, he will love seeing that flag there. Um, he wasn't there. I was like, oh, but people were telling me they were champions. So I was like, I'm confused. I'm like literally so confused. Um, what else, what else, oh, my mind is like so, so all out of this world, it's like it's 10.30 and I have left the house at like 6.30 in the morning, <sighs> I'm exhausted, and I'm also emotional and yeah, a lot of things going on, um, but yeah, that podium, like, the fossils are crazy. <laughs> And Mons is like crazy, like, oh my god, I loved it. I loved every single second of it. Um, then I went to go to the paddock because I wanted to see Nico. And I was going to meet with a friend. They wouldn't allow us. You need to have a pass. It's like, I've got my paddock pass. No, that, that, not, not that one. 
okay, okay, whatever. So we went all the way from the outside of the paddock area to the other side where the Prima Garage was because I was going to meet my friend. They kicked us out from there. And this woman, she was like yelling at me. The only way I know she was yelling at me was because she was saying like, ragazza, ragazza. And I know that's girl, you know, or like whatever. So I was like, I turned around, she told me something. It's like, non parlo italiano. She yelled at me and I was like, I don't fucking talk. I don't fucking understand and all that. She was being so rude. I was like, woman, I'm telling you, I do not fucking understand Italian. I do not fucking know Italian. It's like, okay, if you tell me, maybe if we, if you try to communicate with me, I will understand what you mean so you don't have to yell at me because I'm not doing what you want. You know, so they were kicking us out. Not even the party, like not even the fucking paddock. That pissed me off. Um, so yeah, by eight, I left the truck because I couldn't wait there anymore for my friend. Um, but yeah, the experience was like, it's so fresh. Um, the experience is like amazing. Like, um, I would tell anyone that's thinking of going to Monza, uh, just do it. Like, probably not a Formula One because it's gonna be real expensive and paddle pads are not too fun. Um, but if you can go to races like this, I would tell you go ahead. Like, WEC is not a small series, but if you know there's smaller series racing there, just go and support them. Like they're gonna, they're gonna um, like love your support. And also Bianca won the third race. Like, oh, I went. I was on the um, sorry, just don't know the names of that. Like at the first turn, where Luis and um, Max had the crash last year. I think it was last year, two years ago. It was like so far away. Um, so before the race finished, I started going because I want to see her in the podium. And when um, she got her trophy, I was, I ran to the paddock and I saw her. Um, so yeah, I was when, with my little um, Forza Brema flag. So I'm so happy with that. Um, she's so nice. Uh, also during, um, during the pit walk, uh, I was not gonna get any nothing like i was not gonna fight for any driver card but i saw a few tables where there were not many people so i just went there and i got like i think it was like 18 driver cards because some of them were like uh the same driver like all drivers in one photo some others were like each one in one and they had some uh apoge mini flag which i just took the um, stick out because it was made of paper so it broke um, I got uh, some postcard uh, podcast no but the little cards um, you send on the post postcards yeah um, from Porsche I think it is and then from Porsche as well, I got like some weird things that I have no idea what it is. And also from Jota and I don't know what other thing hurts I think it is. I got like some little wristbands, so that, that was nice. This is probably, I don't know if this is gonna be the last vlog uh, of racing of the year. Um, I'm trying to see if I can afford going to Barcelona for the 24 hour race. I think it's like ETs uh, for anybody to be there. So I'm going. Um, Either way, I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me um, to my racing experiences. I know I'm really bad at blogging, but um, I don't I don't know. My anxiety when being watched was horrible. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, you can also follow me on my social media. Uh, I think it's around there somewhere and yeah, so I will see you guys in my next vlog who will be Milano's two weeks um, experience and I'm also going to two concerts so I'm going to bring you with me.